Well, we've got one of my favorite guests on the show, Colin Smith from Adobe. Now, I love when you come on and show some of the new Adobe stuff. It makes me want to go out and become a graphic artist uh, like <laughs> today. Um, this is the Creative Suite 5, and we're looking at Photoshop. And right. I think I'm just going to let you go and tell us about the cool new features that are, are okay. in here. Excellent. Well, the first one is making selections. I mean, everyone wants to remove someone for whatever reason out of a background. So Some more than others. Yes. <laughs> and doing that is, is it's always tricky. We've yeah. got some great tools. And in the past, we, we introduced the quick selection tool where you make a selection. And that does a, a, a pretty good job. But I'm going to load a selection here that I already have instead of, you know, watching me make that selection. And up at the top, when I click on Refine Edge, we have a new command up here. And what's important about this is, well, several things. First of all, we have a whole bunch of names up here, so it's obvious what you're looking at. You're looking at marching ants, an overlay on black, on white. Gives you an idea of what you're working on. But more importantly, is something called edge detection. If we look at her hair, you can see the hair looks awful. That's like a typical scissor job. Her shoulders look great. And now, we need to treat the hair different from the shoulders. Yeah. So watch this. This is called Smart Radius. I'll simply turn it on and drag this up. Let it go and look at her hair. Ah. And watch when I turn on the, the mask, when I zoom in oh, and look wow. at that. that that's incredible. Because I, I do a little bit of photo editing and the hair is always the oh. trickiest. And I'm sitting there and it, sometimes, honestly, like on women's hair, it can take an hour oh, to go through and easily, get it all. Easily. So now we've, we've and you did that in seconds. out of the background and that it's amazing. just it's incredible. So new selection tools means it's going to be much easier for people uh, when they need to make edits like that. Even if they're making a selection to do a color correction or, or or something of that sort, so that's easy. But this is a really cool feature. This is called Content Aware Fill. And the idea behind Content Aware Fill is it intelligently looks at the surrounding area and fills the area you want and makes some really good choices. So here's an example. I'm gonna use something called the um, Spot Healing Brush. Yeah. And the Spot Healing Brush in the past, we've had that uh, to create a proximity match or a texture, but now we have something new called Content Aware. So I wanna get rid of this wire. And I would probably, in, in CS4, I give myself 20 minutes at least. Uh, and if you don't know what you're doing well, it's gonna be a disaster. Three hours, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so watch, all I have to do is simply paint along here, and uh, I don't have to be as accurate as you think, just simply <laughs> clearly <laughs> go, go down here, let go, and watch for a second. It's gonna make some uh, calculations, and boom. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. It, it's really blowing people away. This is the feature that, that people just cannot believe. I'm gonna get rid of this light the same way. <laughs> but you could do people or dogs. You sure or can. Well, I've got another, a, a tough example here of okay. uh, this particular file. I got to get rid of this guy. No. And yeah, and we're going to just make a general selection around that area. Yeah. And instead of painting, I can just choose fill and content aware fill. And again, depending on the power of your computer, how long you got to wait, and he will be gone. Oh my God. So if there is a problem like you see down here, we've got a little got bit. Got a bit of the branch. Yep, yeah, you just paint that over there and it's gonna figure that out and remove it. Oh my God. That honestly, like on something like that, I couldn't even do it because of all yeah. the rocks and the different patterns yeah. on there. It would take forever if you could even do it at all. Yeah, so one more that I just have to show. We gotta get rid of the um, flagpoles. There's some dirt on the bottom in there and, and there's some lamp posts. So I'll make a quick selection again. This is something, um, that I have stored, just so you see what I'm doing. That's it, edit, fill, content aware, click OK, take a sip of your latte and... And they're gone. There we go. Oh my God. Yeah. So it's a pretty amazing wow. tool. We think that uh, you know a lot of people are very excited about it and uh, it's going to be a, all the rage up there. So what are, is there any other uh, last features we can show here? Then? Sure, here's one that's great and it's uh, a, a new tool to uh, turn something into a puppet. So the uh, first thing I'll have a to- puppet? A puppet? The first okay. thing I have to tell you is that this, we've separated the, the elephant out of the background. So okay. it might be a little bit uh, deceiving uh, when you see this next step. So with the elephant on its own layer in the edit menu, choose puppet warp, and you can see that it draws uh, a whole bunch of polygons around it. It's now separated this into a two-dimensional stretchable layer, and I can drag that up and make oh, the elephant goodness. look like it's eating. Uh, so we've had warp and liquify tools in the past, but I think this really takes it to a whole new level. 
This is like almost like magic. It is, it's incredible. Colin Smith from Adobe talking about the latest Creative Suite 5, Photoshop, simply amazing. Where can people find out more info? They can go to adobe.com and download a trial version so they can get started today. Let's see if we can do something with my kids now. Okay, yeah, sure.